Obviously, the, the first store, legendary store, one of the visions for NIP was to have people come to Crenshaw because it became a landmark. What, what are the plans for the, uh, the, the original Marathon store? Original Marathon store for us is important. Uh, that's that's going to turn into the Neighborhood NIP Foundation. Mm. So the whole lot, um, you know, we're still going to keep the original Marathon store there, but it's not going to be like anything for, 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 for sale or like business. It's just strictly nonprofit Neighborhood NIP Foundation. Um, I want to bring back the Vector 90, tap in with Dave, and have that for the kids to come, you know, maybe like once a week two times a week on the weekends or something. Um, have them teachers volunteer or we hire some teachers, get, get, you know, get some lessons in. And for that, you earn a little studio time, have a studio in there, have them teach the kids how to uh, do music. And, uh, you know, we got the barbershop there, had a free haircuts, feed them, give them some clothes. And, they, you know, and that, that for me is important on Crenshaw and Slauson. So that's the goal. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it, that's, in the, that's in the plans. Yeah, so how do, we, how do we end up here, right? So we're in Melrose, obviously, a long way from Crenshaw. Right. How, how did we end up and choose this location specifically? Um, I think uh, for us, store number two was always important that we came, you know, like to Fairfax or Melrose. And um, I think when we were about to open the first store, the goal kind of, because a lot of shit that was going on, we like, man, we need to go get, we need to go move the shop. But Hustle wanted to make sure he opened the first one on Crenshaw and Slauson. So for all of us, the plan was store number two. We coming, we coming on Melrose or, or Fairfax. Um, so in looking for, you know, a, 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 a new spot, we were all up and down Fairfax. Nobody would lease to us. And, um, you know, Rock Nation tapped in with us and, and, and lent us. They, they like top real estate person. So he came in, he like, look, I'm gonna find y'all building. So. He ended up saying, my boy got this building. He's finna move, he's trying to sell it. It's, it's, it's closer towards La Brea. So he's like, nah, we wanna kinda be up, up, up by Fairfax. He's like, trust me, just, just, just pull up and come check the spot out. So I'm like, all right. So we pull up downstairs. I wasn't really sold, but as soon as I walked upstairs, you know, like I told you, I seen like the vision. He had the elevator in here. He had the jacuzzi on the rooftop. I'm amazed, like, man, what the fuck? So we like, all right. <laughs> we like, nah, this is, you know, this is God. Like, this, this is us. And then he was selling it damn near like half off. So we was like, all right, this is, you know, through, through, through all the months and months and months of searching and getting turned down, you know, I understood why it was, because this was meant for us at this time, so. So you own, you own the building? Yeah, yeah. How important is that to, as opposed to Lisa? Uh, for me, it's important. Uh, you know, when I say we own it, it's in the kids. It's in, it's in Hustle Kids um, names, um, you know, and, and they trust funds. So when they get older, um, you know, this is something that they father worked for and that they own. So that's important for me. And then also just having brick and mortar. Um, once again, the reinforced with Hustle told us and taught us just through the ups and downs of, you know, of whatever with business or brands, you know, whether your shit is booming online and slows down, just having that brick and mortar and being able to pass it down through the family, I think is important. And uh, that, to me, that's the importance of us actually owning this, this property. And the real estate play, right? Like, it's gonna go up.